Wochen ist in der Kleinstadt Winden ein 15-jähriger Junge auf mysteriöse Weise verschwunden. Und nun alarmiert ein weiterer Vermisstenfall die Bürger der Stadt. Keine Spur, nichts. Als hat er sich in Luft aufgelöst. Alles ist genauso wie vor 33 Jahren. Alles wiederholt sich. Netflix made its first big attempt at original German programming with the release of Dark, an intense mystery thriller that has had many calling it Germany's answer to Stranger Things. All 10 episodes were released around the world on December 1st, and after binging through all episodes in one day, I can verify that this show will put you on one wild and unforgettable ride. Dark centered around the citizens in a small, wood-surrounded German town of Winden in 2019 and the sudden disappearance of several children. The mystery around the missing kids unearths a plethora of fractured relationships and mysteries that only time travel can explain. The hunt for the person or group behind the disappearances unravels connections to events from 33 years ago and then 33 years from that. Events that are not just a coincidence. The question of the missing boy's whereabouts isn't where, but when. And only those who dig deep enough will become aware of the mind-bending truths that connect three generations of the Winden community. Germany has only recently found moderate success in gaining recognition or even an audience for its film and TV contributions. And while Deutschland 83 did its part to weaken the wall in 2015, Dark may actually come close to completely obliterating that wall. Netflix's modest marketing leading up to the release of Dark really set some high expectations. And thankfully, the show truly delivered. Now, some may find the first couple episodes to be a bit slow at times, but this is really needed to fully develop the large number of characters and storylines that will all connect at later parts of the series. Even with the slower start, Dark does not fail to give you an edge of the seat punch. If you're looking for a show that doesn't require a ton of brain power or one that you can just put on the background, Dark may not be your best choice. But if you're looking for a program that can actually challenge your thinking and your perception of time, Dark is an absolute must-watch. But the question still remains, is this just the German Stranger Things? There are some easy connections to be made, such as a small town with a missing kid trapped in another dimension, a high-security facility that might just be the source of all the mystery, the flickering lights, and scenes set in the 80s. But Dark is just so much more complex than Stranger Things, and really it does stand on its own. Now if there is any connection to be made to a movie, I would call reference to the film Donnie Darko, and honestly, that's, that's a true compliment. For a show that deals with time travel and multiple dimensions, the creators of the show did an outstanding job making sure that very few stones were left unturned and many questions were eventually answered in a very satisfying way. And I also have to give credit to the show for dealing with Germany's past in a way that never had to touch on the impacts of World War II or the divide between the East and West to set the scene. There's so much more that could be said and I want to say about the events that unfold in Dark, but doing so would require some major spoilers. What I can say, though, is that Dark may very well have just jumped up to become my new favorite Netflix original. And while Dark also could have just wrapped up the first season with no need for a second, the cliffhanging end makes me really hope that Netflix at least picks us up for a season two so it can finish off the story. I give Dark an impressive score of 9.4 out of 10 with the show's ability to handle such a complex storyline in a way that is engaging and satisfying, all while leaving very few moments of downtime other than the rare chance to catch your breath, making it deserving of some top scores. If you watch the series, please feel free to share your own thoughts on Dark by leaving a comment below. 
And if you don't want to miss out on the next episode of Instant Kino, be sure to subscribe to the channel to be among the first to know when the next episode goes live. He may have played a role in Weekendat Weekendat Weekending, but if you're looking for his pro show, to Stranger Things, but not Stranger Things, we're talking about Dark. I did it. What do we do? I can't tell me. Don't. Thank you. I'm pretty. I'm so pretty. That's not going in the bleepers. Wow. Mm-mm.